Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to quickly make your own yogurt at home. And uh, I think the the best and quickest way to make yogurt at home um, <coughs> is using a automatic yogurt machine. Uh, the machine I have here is from Cuisine Art, and uh, it's very affordable. It's only like seventy some dollars shipped. Um, we already made. A whole lot of yogurt out of this machine and the success success rate is a hundred percent granted you have to prepare your materials properly before you get started so I'm just gonna go over the machine really quick the machine is super simple have four buttons a plus and minus and that's used to adjust your um, yogurt making time <clears throat> usually we use uh, we use nine hours as a uh, safe base and then the other button is start and stop so what this machine does is uh, when you actually hit start and set the timer, it uh, automatically heats up the interior of the machine <clears throat> to the best temperature to make yogurt for about nine hours. It keeps it at that temperature. And uh, when the nine hours comes, um, this, uh, this number will become a letter C. That means it's in the cooling mode. So what it, what, what, what's cool about this machine is that it actually works like a small fridge. It actually starts to cool the yogurt inside the yogurt machine um, to a low temperature so um, the yogurt would uh, get more solidified and uh, <clears throat> usually I don't I don't keep it in the machine for too long on the cooling mode uh, basically I just take the yogurt out and directly put it in the fridge once the uh, the warming part is complete um, so we're gonna go ahead and start make uh, make yogurt from uh, from scratch and the materials you need uh, a good glass measuring cup uh, some yogurt base that you like. We really love the, the Nusa string and uh, Ideally you would use a plain yogurt, but uh, um, From uh, the one from Nusa it, it kind of works because they have their Like flavors that they have their fruits and vegetables on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just open it and uh, scoop the top part um, for our yogurt as our yogurt base and uh, you would also need some milk um, <clears throat> and make sure the milk is fresh so let's see and of course this little scoop uh, it actually came with the um, with the machine and I'm gonna use that as as a, as a scoop to scoop up the yogurt onto the measuring cup another thing super important is um, I'm gonna open the top this little container from the yogurt machine it's BPA free plastic and uh, every time after you make the yogurt make sure you wash it really really clean with a uh, dish detergent don't just use plain water you have to wash it super clean otherwise uh, your yogurt might not come out as yogurt okay um, so I'll leave this cup on the side and uh, what I usually use um, I use one third of a cup as a base and that's what the manual suggests suggests to use as base and uh, I find it works very very well uh, let's let me just scoop up some yogurt and put it in there let's see try to avoid the sweet part and of course again ideally you would, uh, you would use plain yogurt but this one because I could scoop the top which doesn't have any flavors. I'm just gonna use that. So one third of a cup. That's what I'm aiming for. Needs a little more. Let's see. Nope, still not enough. I might have to scoop uh, some of the flavors into the yogurt. I hope that uh, that will not affect the outcome, but we'll see. After it finishes, I'm gonna update this video and let you guys see uh, what we made. What we made. Okay, so that's about uh, one third of a cup. I'm gonna leave those just to eat and enjoy later. Uh, and I'm gonna pour some milk in here. <coughs> Just to get it uh, kind of homogenized instead of like a big glob of yogurt. 
So I'm just gonna stir it a little bit, get it loose. And the Nusset yogurt, um, it's really creamy and uh, very smooth tasting. Uh, we really like this strain a lot. And that's a strain uh, we've been using to make uh, our last uh, few batches of yogurt. And it works pretty good. So you want to add some milk and start just uh, stirring, stirring, and stir more. The also important part is make sure it's homogenized. Make sure the yogurt strain is everywhere in the in the bottle. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more and stir it a little more. Then I'm gonna pour this uh, pour this mix into the actual cup, and then we're gonna add the remaining milk directly over there in in the little cup. So. There's some, uh, it looks like it's it's flowing pretty good. So I'm gonna just pour this over into the machine. Okay, wipe this clean. All right, good. Again, imperative to make sure the container is very clean as well as the measuring cup. So pour it in. And then I'm gonna add some more some more uh, milk on here just to wash off the remaining stuff <clears throat> and stir again and I add this back to the, the container you don't want to waste uh, materials okay good all right so now I'm gonna go back in here and I'm just continue to stir I'm gonna stir and stir and stir, add some more milk and continue stirring. <clears throat> the important, the key here is to make it very uniform, to make sure the yogurt string is everywhere. All right, so very homogenized, good. I'm gonna add some more, <clears throat> maybe half of the way, and I'm gonna stir one more time. Continue stirring and then after this I'm just gonna add everything top it off and then I'm gonna put it back into the yogurt machine and start making it okay this looks good okay I'm gonna add the remaining amount I usually just leave it over here, over there, like somewhere near the top. Um, it doesn't really expand when when the when the making is complete. So whatever level you put there, it's gonna be about that much. And make sure you do a uh, one more good stir. And the benefit of making your own yogurt is uh, it's a lot more cheaper. Um, the Nusa yogurt is not necessarily cheap. It's, it's fairly expensive for the little bottle. And we're using the same strain, strain of the uh, probiotics. And then you can add your own flavor to the yogurt that you make uh, later on. So that is really nice and well worth the effort. Because as you can see, it's super easy to make. I'm not doing anything super fancy. The only time, the most time I've spent is just mixing the yogurt into the milk. And now I think it's about, um, it looks it looks pretty nice now. I'm gonna close the cap and just put it back into the machine, okay? And again, I'm setting the hours at nine because I know nine works for us. But some yogurt strings might need different uh, different times, so ex experiment. Some may need eight, some may need ten, but uh, nine is a good start. And I would say minimum hours I would recommend is eight hours. Okay, so I put the yogurt back into the machine. I close the top cap, and I'm just gonna hit start. All right, so I just put the yogurt back into the machine, and I started the uh, the countdown timer. 
uh, set it to nine hours and we're gonna come back and update in nine hours I'm gonna show you guys what the machine will be making after about nine hours and then I'll come back and update this video so now it's about nine hours and uh, the yogurt uh, machine just finished uh, with the warming part and now it's in the cooling mode um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off and take the yogurt out and check the consistency of the yogurt and then put the yogurt in the fridge so gonna first stop the machine okay so when it's stopped it will start blinking and that, that you know that the machine stopped I'm gonna take the uh, caps off I'm gonna take the thing out and I think we have a successfully made Nusa yogurt from the strain because I'll open this up and you know it's good when the consistent consistency because right now it's very warm so it feels like a gel uh, when I put it in the fridge and let it cool down overnight uh, it'll become very uh, very creamy and uh, it'll be less runny um, so that's what I'm gonna do next and I'm gonna come back and update one last time tomorrow morning to show you guys what the yogurt is like uh, once the uh, it's fully cooled down <clears throat> but we uh, we actually made a successful batch as I said um, this machine um, if, <coughs> if you just make sure everything's clean and you use a good strain of yogurt there's no way you're gonna fail because it's super easy and simple to make okay so I'll come back and update um, tomorrow morning good morning guys and uh, it's been uh, seven or eight hours since I put the yogurt in the fridge and uh, now I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of the properly made yogurt and now it's uh, it's pretty much solidified um, like any other yogurt that you can buy from the supermarket so it's optional but we usually uh, move the yogurt out and put it in a glass jar or a container uh, that way I can use reuse the uh, uh, the thing over here to make more yogurt so and it's entirely up to you I mean if you don't eat a lot of yogurt you don't have to do that but um, I bought a gallon milk so I'm gonna use the remaining amount of the milk to make more yogurt so I'm not gonna show you how I transfer this because I'm gonna do it over the sink. Basically, I just pour this over into the container. Super easy, okay? So if you guys have any uh, questions about, there's a little hair over here. So, yeah, I just use my scoop to show you guys the consistency. Like, this is, this is like really good yogurt. Really, really good, okay? So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions about how to make yogurt and uh, or the questions about the uh, automatic yogurt machine, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer for you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful and uh, take care.